Hi guys, good morning. Oh, so much I wanna get done today. I thought I'd bring you along for my day. Do like a day in the lifestyle vlog slash get it all done. Share a crock pot recipe today. I gotta put dinner on. I'm gonna go get myself ready. My face just looks super red on camera. Um, I've got a lot of redness on my face. Anyway, so I'm gonna go get myself ready. I'm gonna do a little get ready with me. And then um, we're gonna try to get some stuff done today. I've gotta go get my nails done today. I've almost gotten three weeks out of this, which I am. And I may could get three weeks out of them, but um, I'm going out of town this weekend and today's the only day that I have time to go get them done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them done this afternoon. Um, so let's go get ready for the day and um, throw a crock pot recipe on after that and just see what we can get done today. All right, so uh, I woke up this morning and I got a shower and then I was like, I'll just get ready during nap time. Um, but the kids, Millie, it is raining today. So Millie's watching. What are you doing? You gonna shut the door? Millie's watching Rick at Ralph. She loves Rick at Ralph. Or Ralph, I think she's watching. I think she's watching Ralph breaks the internet. And Callum's just playing, so he's been good. So I'm gonna try to get myself ready for the day. Um, so I thought I'd little, share a little get ready with me. I've changed a couple things in my routine. I feel like I'm always changing it up. Um, Smashbox, I got a new one of these in the shade I need, because I had two. Other ones, one was dark, one was too light. So I was mixing them, but I had them for so long that they were old. Um, so I went and got the shade that I needed, which is 1.1 Fairlight Neutral. It is wonderful. Um, so I've like done all my skincare. Um, this is a 24 hour foundation. It is so good, it lasts a while and I just love it. So I'm actually using this brush from Real Techniques. It is um, very uh, packed, I don't know what you call it, but it's great for foundation. I'm gonna put a couple pumps on here and I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this done. This brush works so well. I feel like it works even better than the Beauty Blender, the sponge that I was using before. Um, so I just kind of go back and forth on using this. I've had this for a while, but it is such a good brush. Okay, so next I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer. Um, just a little bit. Right there. Right here. A little bit of kind of around my face. Callan. Come here, buddy. Okay, and then um, to blend that, I'm actually gonna use, this is just like the other brush. It's just a little bit smaller. Callan is pulling down the toilet paper roll. So I'm just blending it with this as much as I can and then I'll go in with a beauty blender to kind of get like blend any lines if needed. Okay, went in with my sponge and kind of blended that out. I've got Callan up here with me now. Um, okay, Cali Contour by Smashbox. I'm gonna use this highlight shade. Um, well, it's not really, it's kind of like just a light powder shade. And I go under my eyes with that with the sponge. It just brightens them. It works so good for under eyes. Okay, and then I think this step has become so important with getting my makeup to stay and just look so good. The Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder. Um, and then I use this brush that I apply my foundation. This brush makes it go on so smooth. Um, so I just add this like all over my face. I was applying this with my sponge and it did not go on near as good. This works so good for just getting that fuller coverage look, like making it blend so good. Okay, so I got all that. Now I'm gonna go back in with the palette and do the contour shade. Okay, so I have um, the Morphe M530 brush. I love this for either bronzer or contour. So I'm just gonna add it up here. What are you playing with, Cal? I'm gonna add it right here, and right here, and then kind of blend it out. And then down here as well. And then I just kind of blend, especially right here on the cheeks. Hey, Millie, are you, is your movie done? Then I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. Oh, I'm using the wrong brush. Um, I've got another Morphe. This is a really big fluffy brush. The bronzer shade and kind of just add Kind of just wherever, some warmth, extra warmth to my face. All right, and then the blush is really pretty, so I'm gonna add some of this blush. This is the palette I've been using for like everything lately. 
<laughs> and then this highlight shade. All right, next, I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Brows, the um, Anastasia Taupe Brow Powder Duo, and then I've just got a brush. Okay, I've done brows, and then I added some brow, um, clear brow gel. All right, so next I'm gonna add a little bit to my eyes, the Truth or Fear by Morphe palette. I'm gonna add um, this shade right here to the eyelid. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with something a little bit darker. Yeah. And add to my crease. Um, let's do like a shimmery. Let's try it. I think it'd look cute with this shirt I have on. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with a different brush and add this lighter shade right here to the inner corner. Yeah. Again, I'm gonna add a little bit. Can you have a seat? A little bit of something to the bottom. I'll probably do this like when I've done my corner of my eye. Right here. Okay, then I'm gonna line a very small, like kind of line right here. And I never use eyeliner, I just kind of use, I'm actually been using this brown shade in this palette and I wet this brush and then kind of get right there. All right, and then lastly, I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick and then add this It Cosmetics Superhero mascara to the tops and then I, uh, for the bottom, Lashes, I actually just use this Maybelline Sky High just because the brush is a little bit smaller. Okay, so that part's done. I just kind of go in and kind of clean up because I always get mascara up here somewhere. So I kind of just let it dry and then go in with a Q-tip and clean some of that up. All right, and then the last part of my makeup, then um, I'm also going to share how how I've been curling my hair lately. Um, I'm going to use, I've been using this for so long, L'Oreal Paris in the shade I Create. That's what it looks like. Gonna go ahead and add that. Okay, so before I do my hair, I want to give a big thanks to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video and share a couple of the scents I got this month. Um, I've been working with them for so long. I love working with them. I love their perfumes each month. I love getting new perfumes to try out. What I love about Scentbird is you can try out different perfumes. You get a really good size amount, a 30-day supply. Usually lasts me actually over 30 days. Um, you get a 30-day supply for $17 a month, or I have a good discount code that I'll share with y'all. You're gonna be a lot cheaper than that. But each month you go pick um, whatever scent you want. I'll share the ones I have. But you can also go take a quiz and that will kind of give you an idea of the scents you might like because your preferences might be different than mine. Um, but they actually have new vials. I showed these last month. I didn't really talk about the new vials that they have. They're a little bit different. So this is how you spray it. It goes like this to kind of lock it and then you turn it like that and then it sprays. Um, Ah, smells good. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite scents ever. This is the Callan Dulce and Gabbana Light Blue. This is such a good scent. I have heard, I talked about this scent last month, but I just love it so much. But the way these work is you twist it and you can kind of open it to see what scent it is. So that's kind of how it works. And then it's so easy to spray and then you lock it and you can't get into it. Um, but, so this one is one of my all-time faves. You can't go wrong with this scent is the Dulce & Gabbana Light Blue. It's such a good light scent, which I really like. Um, it excites your senses with sheer granny smith apple and brisk cedar fading into calming bluebell flowers, exotic bamboo, and a classic floral embrace of rose and jasmine. If you want a good one to try this month, can't go wrong with that one. I definitely recommend that one. Then another really good one that I really like, this is also a lighter scent, uh, is the Burberry Brit Sheer. Also have that one. Tropical yuzu fruit, mandarin and pineapple citrus introduce a soft floral heart of rich peach blossom and bright peonies. It don't have like a super fruity smell or anything. It, has, it's, it smells really good. Um, so this one's also great. Oh, that just smells really good. So if you're interested in trying Sitbird, go check them out. I'll have the link below. I'll also leave my discount code here. It will get you 55% off your first month at Sitbird, which makes your first month just a little over $7 can't beat that. So go check them out. Everything will be, all the links will be below. Go take the quiz to kind of see what you might like and go give them a try. But today I'm going to do the Dulce and Gabbana light blue. And you see my all time faves. So that is what I'm going to wear today. Okay. So now I'm going to share how I've been curling my hair. 
Um, the last few get ready's with me, I know in the last video that I shared like a get ready with me, someone was like, wait a minute, you shared your makeup, but please share your hair too. So I thought I'd um, quickly share how I've been curling my hair lately. I've actually been using my flat iron. I have a Paul Mitchell flat iron. I have tried in the past to use the flat iron to curl my hair and I've been always been so unsuccessful with it. You know how like, and I, I still do this sometimes. You know how when you curl it, like it don't like run through smoothly and it like leaves like crimps in your hair. That's what I've always had a problem with. I'm gonna divide it into two sections. But lately I've had a lot more success with, with it and for a long time I've only ever curled my hair with a wand just because that's all the only thing I've ever been able to really use because a curling iron, I just can't do it. It just does not work well for me. Um, so these, this holds my curls better and I can go all day and it looks good all day versus the wand. It don't necessarily look good but come the evening time. Okay, so I take like kind of smaller sections um, and I just put this on here and kind of twist it and go down. The, I will say that the, I kind of leave my ends out as much as I can. I will say that the bottom layer of my hair does better than the top, but I just do the best I can. Um, so that's just what I do all around. Uh, what I love about this too is when my hair like looks like frizzy and it needs to kind of be smoothed, I can just run this and smooth it and then go back and throw a curl in it. And I've not gotten the best with it because I don't, like I want to get my ends a little bit better, but they don't, I don't know, like they come out of the curling, out, out of the straightener before the whole hair goes through, if that makes sense. All right, so now I'm gonna get, try to finish this bottom layer and then we'll work our way to the top. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing to the top layer. Now this top layer, um, it kind of crimps more than the bottom. I think it's just because I have more product and it don't run as smoothly. So, especially this piece right here, I can never get it to do right. So let's see if I can get it this time. It just don't want to run smoothly. See how it kind of, I mean, it don't look bad though, but it just wants to kind of pull. Okay, so I'm going, I'm just kind of letting this sit for a minute. So this side, it's harder to get these ends a little more, like I was saying. So it looks a little straighter, especially as like I get like halfway down. So something I just gotta keep practicing. Um, but I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of rake through. And sometimes I'll like tease a little bit if I need, if I want like a little bit more volume. All right, I'm gonna go in and like kind of somewhat tease it like halfway down. Okay, I'm done. Like I said, I ain't a hair expert. I'm just sharing what I've been doing lately. I'm gonna spray it. I've got this Pureology soft finish hairspray. Spray a little bit. Follow me. I've gotta get in this room and clean it up. I've got all kinds of like trash packages, package trash and stuff. All right, I'm gonna get this boy ready for the day. Come on, let's go change. I'm gonna get his clothes picked out. Millie gets ready before the, when the girls do every morning. She wants to here, be careful. She likes to go to school. She likes to get dressed before we go to school, like the girls do. So she's already dressed for the day. Huh, we just need to, you wanna go brush your hair? You can go do it. Would you like to brush it? We're not doing anything today. We're not really going anywhere till look. We're gonna go to church later. How about that? Oh, and I've gotta put my crock pot recipe on. So I'm gonna get him changed and then we're gonna run uh, put something in the crock pot. I just like to get dressed for the day. I'm just gonna put up with me. Come here, Kat. Good luck. I need you. Ah, I got it. Don't do that. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I kind of want a book. So you can look at while I change them. Yeah, I'm telling you, I didn't like that. But I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> The kids are watching a Halloween Miss Rachel real quick. I'm gonna try to get in here and clean up. The room is a mess. I got a few Target packages and I'm actually gonna bring a couple things back. Well, maybe just one thing, I think. So I bought this sweater or sweatshirt from Target. This, they had um, 
I got a few things from Target. I got the kids from pajamas. I got kind of a couple sweatshirts. They're super cute. But I got this. I got this cropped sweatshirt. And it is too cropped. <laughs> so I tried it on yesterday when it came in the mail. And it is like way too short. I mean, I thought, okay, with leggings, my leggings come up so high. But even with the leggings, it's just too short. So that will be going back. But it's just so cozy. I may could size up in it and it might be okay. Um, but that's going to go back. <laughs> I got so many packages yesterday. Ran got some pajamas. Oh, Millie got a super cute outfit. Uh, Callan got this. He got that. So cute. And then um, all this was 40% off. Millie got this cute little outfit. Little princesses has like a sweatshirt and then matching joggers to go with it and then i think that was pretty much it um all right so i'm gonna get this room clean probably do an early nap time today because um it is so rainy and dreary and who doesn't want to take an early nap Callum's always ready for early nap anyways so we'll probably do like early-ish nap time at least for him and all that so I'm gonna get this room clean see what laundry needs to be thrown in we're gonna have some this weekend so I'm trying to get some stuff done before we go that way any weekend chores that I typically do I need to go ahead and get done ahead of time see if the kids room is straightening up so I'll get to that sometime today or tomorrow but first of all, I'm gonna work in here get my bed made get some of these packages and trash out of here get kind of cleaned up in here making up my bed for the day and then I had some packages uh, all the package things that I needed to go through and trash from those and a few things of the kids that just needed to be put away so I kind of went through those took some tags off of a couple things so I could go put all of those things away um, and then I decided I need to do some laundry today so I got a load of whites and went and washed those of course, laundry is never ending here, but if I could do one to sometimes two loads a day, um, I'm very happy with that. So, um, cleaned off of cleaned off our dresser and then also cleaned our mirror. It stays dirty. Millie likes to come in here and look in the mirror and get it dirty with their handprints. And um, so just kind of just cleaning as much as I can in my bedroom. Really, I just get done whatever I can during the day. Sometimes I don't get done near as much as I have today. Sometimes I get done even more. It just kind of depends on what we're doing and how the kids are doing as to how much I can actually get done. Okay, I just got Callan done for a nap. I got my room straightened up through a load of laundry and really quickly, but I remembered I haven't found a crock pot recipe on yet. I've got to do that. So I'm gonna get everything ready for that. Callan just went down. Hopefully he'll take a really good nap. He's usually a three hour napper. He does so good. But I'm gonna grab my crock pot out, grab all the ingredients, and let's make some crock pot white chicken chili. Okay, I've got a video uploading. Um, for this recipe, we've got some chicken, about a pound, pound and a half. I'll go ahead and just add all of that. Chicken broth. We've got great northern beans, two cans of that some corn, um, diced green chilies, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, chili powder, seasoning salt, and pepper. Um, I will actually leave the exact recipe for this below if you guys are on Weight Watchers. It is very Weight Watcher friendly and I'll leave the exact recipe below, but I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in the crock pot. Okay, so I'm gonna add my chicken breast to the bottom. And cut this on low. I might, I'll probably have to turn it on high a little bit later. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drain these, but I'm not gonna rinse them. Drain them for the most part. And add that. There's a little bit of juice left. I'm sure that's not gonna hurt anything. Add the beans. I'm gonna add the whole thing of corn. I drained it. I'm gonna add my can of mild green chilies. We're gonna do one and three fourths of a cup of chicken broth. Then we're gonna add all of our seasonings. We've got two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, 
some salt. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of seasoning salt. Gonna do some pepper. Forgot my chili powder. We're gonna do two teaspoons of chili powder. And then a little bit of cayenne. Okay, a little bit of cayenne, not too much. About a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne. Bye. All right, so I'm gonna give this a really good stir and then um, later on we'll add a couple more things to it. Stir all this together, try to get the seasonings kind of mixed. Okay, so I'm gonna cook on low until a little bit later and then once the chicken's done, I'm gonna shred it and add a couple more things. But I've got the first part done. Looking good. Okay, so I've got crock pot recipe going. I am hungry, so I'm gonna eat a little bit of early lunch. I meal prep this. That video should be up before this one. Um, if not, it's coming soon, but I think it should be. But it is so yummy. I've been really enjoying this. So I'm gonna put some paper towels over it, first of all, and then throw this in the microwave and eat lunch a little bit early today. All right, the kids are napping. I'm gonna go ahead and make some coffee. Such a rainy day, and I am tired. So I'm just gonna make a, just a single shot of espresso. I'm gonna add some of this. Okay, do y'all know the salted caramel cold foam from Starbucks? So this tastes exactly like it. This is this, oh, I'm making a mess. This is the Starbucks caramel syrup. Add a little bit of salt to make the salted caramel cold foam. And it is literally exactly like it. Added some sugar-free vanilla and some fat-free milk. And I always save my cups, especially with the sip lids, because this is what I use every day, so. Got a Dunkin' cup today. So I am coming to the laundry room. I switched over the whites um, a little bit later. I also put in a load of mine and Ethan's clothes. Um, but I came in here while the kids were napping. I was like, you know what? It's the perfect day to clean this laundry room really good. So I ended up wiping things down. I had a ton of shoes. Those were all my shoes. <laughs> I had a ton of shoes that I went and put in my closet where they where I should have put them in the beginning um, But I wiped things down. I wiped the washer and dryer down um, And got it clean and then I also wiped our sink in our laundry room. It was pretty dirty, too um, a lot of times I keep our mop bucket right there and um, just keep it right there. But I also decided to go ahead and fill that bucket up. Usually when I like try to wipe the walls or baseboards down, I like to use just some a little bit of powdered Tide and hot water. So that's what I did. I filled it up with hot water and I put about a teaspoon of powdered Tide in there. I got a microfiber cloth and I just started wiping things down in here. I cleaned uh, the cabinets a little bit. The door really needed wiped down. This is the main door we go out of because it leads to our garage and it just stays dirty. And so I cleaned that. It made the biggest difference in here. Just wiping things down really good, especially when you go so long in between doing that, wiping baseboards down, just wiping the walls down. It makes the biggest difference. So got in here and did that and it just looks so much better. Um, I even opened the door and kind of got outside the outside part of the door and cleaned that and then the kind of the frame and around the door as well. so much better and just made the biggest difference and it's just so much neater um then the kids were napping still so i needed to finish up a video and get it up it was my last video the q a that i did i needed to make a thumbnail for it then i got in the kitchen and did a little bit of tidying up in the kitchen
I just got out of the nail salon. I totally been forgetting to vlog. I got this, um, I don't even know if you can see it, like a pretty purpley, like I feel like it's such a pretty purple fall color. Um, so I really like it. Millie's gonna love this. Millie's favorite color is purple and she's gonna love it. Um, but I'm gonna head in here because I have to finish up dinner very quickly so we have time to eat it before we go to church tonight. All right, so I'm gonna take this chicken out and shred it. I turned it on high for the last couple hours. Um, so I'm gonna take, whoop. So this is literally falling apart. So I'm just gonna kind of shred it up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna clean this <laughs> when I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna add all of this back in here. Can I get that down in? Okay, so I've got four ounces of light cream cheese. Then I'm going to do about a half a cup of half and half. And I am going to, I'm going to give this a stir and I'm going to cook this on high for about 30 more minutes and then we should be good to go. Okay, so it has been about 30 minutes or so. Um, this is done. Give it another good stir. I'm gonna give it, put it in bowls. I'm gonna top mine with a few things. So let's go ahead. So if you're on WW, this is four points per serving for about a cup and a half. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm not really measuring it, but it's probably about a cup and a half. I'm gonna add some Velveeta shreds, tortilla strips. I'm gonna add a little bit of sour cream to mine too. All right, it is looking so good. Don't that look delicious? I added just some cheese, tortilla strips, and some sour cream to mine. Easy crock pot dinner. I will share the exact recipe below, the link to it. All right, dinner was great. Had lots of hey, really Dad. great flavor. All right, let's show our shirts. Can we see? Okay, we'll get your shoes on. Let's see our shirts. Yes, they're so cute. Um, Guess what? Yes. Today we're going to, I mean not today, but on the next Friday, we're going to Gregor Farm. We are. We're so and, excited for that. And guess what? Um, and, and I'm, there's a drop play that I'm going to go on. Oh, they have one. You're going to go on it? Okay. I also want to go out the bus side. You don't have to. Hey, let me see you. How cute you look. We got on your shoes. He's got pumpkins too. All right, so we are headed to church. We kind of somewhat got cleaned up. We cleaned up the table. Um, we still gotta do some dishes when we get home, but we try as much as we can to get as much clean before we leave, before church on Wednesdays. Usually we get it all done and get the dishes and everything done, but we didn't get all that done today since I had another appointment and we were just a little bit busier than normal. But we are headed out. I hope y'all enjoyed coming along for my day. Just a little day in the life vlog, getting a bunch of stuff. Got a good bit done today. I'm pretty proud of myself for everything I was able to get done. You giving kisses? Okay. That's all day long here. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check the links below. If you guys want to check out Simbird, you can save a bunch of money using my code. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.